Okay, moving on with the derivative function. I now want to uh, differentiate between two types of uh, questions that you'll get in this chapter. And I want to go over the differences between what a general derivative is and what a specific derivative at point x equals a is. So if you see, I gave you two kinds of questions for, for each type. So let's start with this general derivative here. So given f of x equals 1 over x, what is the derivative f of prime x? Well, as we mentioned in the derivative function overview, f of prime x, which is the derivative, can be found using the difference quotient formula. So f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And notice now that we're, they're not asking for the derivative or the slope of the tangent at a specific point. They're just asking for the derivative. And whenever they don't ask it at a specific point, they're asking just for the general derivative. So you make it in terms of x. You don't put a point here. So if we rewrite this and sub in uh, x plus h for, uh, for x in our function, we'll get 1 over x plus h minus 1 over x all over h. Now, if we, uh, if we combine these uh, fractions here in the numerator, I'm not going to go into too much detail on how to do this because we've done this so many times. But uh, basically, you'll get something like x minus, and then the x plus h goes here, all over h. And that will just equal, um, the x's in the numerator will cancel out, and then you uh, distribute the negative 1 in the front of the bracket here to the h. So you'll get the limit as h goes to 0 of negative h over x, x plus h all over h. The h's cancel out. And then when you plug in 0 for h, you'll end up with negative 1 over x squared. So this negative 1 over x squared, that's the derivative of 1 over x, or just the general derivative of 1 over x. So now let's move on to this question. So given f of x equals 1 over x, the same function that we were given here, what is the derivative at x equals 2? Or another way to write this is what's f prime of 2? All right, so if um, if we rewrite this, f prime of 2, that's saying, that's the same as finding the limit as h goes to 0. Now, since we're dealing with a specific point, we would put f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 all over h, because we're finding the derivative at point 2, or the slope of the tangent at point 2. So, you can do all this algebra. You can do all this algebra, um, or what else you can do is you could just take the general derivative here that you found, and you can plug in 2 for x, right? So you can also write instead f of prime 2. So first, let's rewrite, uh, let's rewrite everything we have. So we got f of x equals 1 over x. Then we found the derivative f prime x, and that was negative 1 over x squared. So that means the derivative at point 2, if we plug in 2 for x, we'll get 4, is negative 1 over 4. So these two, if you, if you were to do algebra on this, right, plug in uh, 2 plus h for x here, and then 2 for x, and do all the algebra, you would end up with negative 1 over 4. So, but it's just a lot easier to find the general derivative, right? Do the algebra here, and then you can just plug in your 2 for x, and you'll get the derivative at a specific point. So, be careful with what they're asking you. Um, know how to differentiate whether they're asking you for a general derivative or a specific derivative at point x equals a.